fucking punch me, bitch. I'll fuck you up, pig. Don't fuck over me. I might be an imp, but I ain't no bitch. You shouldn't do this. Stun locked. Now your friend shall die. <laughs> be a fire staff. <laughs> I'll be right back for you. What's up, bitch? <laughs> What's up, bitch? Oh, you coming in too? What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> we got three burn bacon bitches. Oh, you want some too? Oh, shit, watch out. You're trying to get... Oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? Who are you trying to get fucking... Oh, what's up? Oh, 4v1? Fair fight now, huh? What's up, bitch? Yeah, it fucking hurts, doesn't it? Oh, ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. No! That's it. Woo! I'll fucking burn your house down! I'm about to run out of staff! It. You're about to get the fucking spear. Pick up the spear! Back, I say! <gasps> oh no. Double oh no. Bananas! Bananas! Ah! I look good! Oh, fuck with me? You're gonna regret every moment of your existence. Oh, you little sneaky bitch. All right. My poor fighter, Steve. Did I huff and puff? Nope. I should have, though. Little bastards. <laughs> so violent. Hey, those fucking pigs deserve everything they get. One's in the channel, if you agree. Those pigs are nothing but assholes. All right. They're trying to... Did you... They actually... Let's be fucking honest. They came at me. Can we not remember right now that those pigs came at me? I was just having a nice fucking trip, and then they came at me. That's their fault. Yeah. Relax. What? I walked into it. Where's that spider go? Uh oh, fucking malicious here. Run, dude. The yellow ones are so scary. <laughs> I didn't know that they jumped the first time I encountered them and I fucking almost shat. I'm pretty sure I shat my pants. Also, I don't know if anybody's got a spider emote, but this is spider heaven. When I'm ready, I'm going to come back. I'm not going to lie. If you just started watching for the first time tonight, you should just act like this is the first time. Not only if you, everybody should be acting like this is the first time you've ever watched me play this because this game is making me look way better than I am right now. Like, straight the fuck up. <laughs> like, this seat is really being sweet to me. Mm -hmm. I remember the shattening. So, <clears throat> being Sunday, I want to let all of you know that there's a very high possibility it's going to depend on the weather tomorrow. I actually may be doing a stream tomorrow. Uh, the reason I say that... It, oh, lordy, lordy! Um, the reason I say that is because it's fucking going away from me! It's dark! I can't see you. Uh, is it's supposed to be shitty and rainy all day tomorrow, which is kind of a fucking bummer. However, I don't really have a lot going on this week that I want to get completely finished that isn't like stream stuff. And I really want to be playing this because I really want to progress now. So depending on how tomorrow goes and like what the weather does, I may still end up streaming tomorrow. I don't really know quite yet. I will let you know on Discord. I usually take Mondays off, but... We may be jamming tomorrow. I never thought that I would be the adult that gives that much of a shit about what the weather is going to do. But I mean, what it really comes down to is I've just gotten to the point where I really enjoy the sun isn't like at my older age. Like, I really enjoy going outside and like playing in the sun and getting in like nice weather and shit like that. Can I get a fucking amen for anybody else that kind of maybe as you've gotten older has kind of gotten more in tune with that? I love going outdoors and I also live in a state where it's usually pretty fucking sunny and this year that has just really not been the case it's just it's been very wet here which sucks because just like california the mountains are in a fucking super drought but it's not been that wet up there fucking sucks you know i was actually kind of wondering the same thing mikey does anybody know that answer they said can you drop your souls as an item to decor houses and things max said no with capital letters but i don't know if they're talking to me or you but i that'd be kind of i think you can right because can't i technically take uh i could 
take one. Hmm. So it will, it'll disappear. Okay. Look at my HP, though. My HP is incredible. You shut your mouth. You guys don't need to work. Hey, I just want to put this out there again. Any of you out there that just don't understand how this shit works, you don't need to pay a fucking attention to what my stats in the right-hand corner are. That's as simple as it is. I'm not mad at any of you. But if I have to say it again, I'm going to shove a marker up someone's ass. See, now you see this marker, right? This is a great marker. This is a great size marker, normal size marker. It's a marker. We all see this marker right here, right now, right? You see the marker? Look at the marker. 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 See it? See it? That doesn't seem fun, does it? Just to put it right up there, right? One's in the channel if this is not your enjoyment situation right here. You don't want this in your ass. One's in the channel if you don't want this in your ass. It's okay if you do, but one's if you don't, all right? Okay? All right? So, so cut the shit. All right, because this isn't the actual marker. It's gonna go on shit. It's actually this one. So uh, I just want you to know this one is much bigger. Uh, here's a size comparison, and if it comes down, I'll put them together and shove them both there. And uh, you know, if it really comes down to it, and you really want to get fucking wild, can we put the marker in the bottle? We're gonna shrink you down and put you in there with the marker. So when you get in, you can pop the top off and go searching and start graffitiing his intestines. All right, so that looks like it's going to lead back. Let's look at this real quick. Now, people that play this game a lot, is it looking like we've almost outlined the whole thing? I'm going to go back down here and go over here. Is it looking like we've almost outlined this main continent that we got here? It kind of looks like it. 50% outline, maybe half. Okay, cool. I just want to get a good section outline. So I think if we can get to like, if you see where we're going right now on the map right here, like... If I can get it to curve and kind of go in there somehow, I think that's all we're going to outline for now. Because I think between everywhere we were, we can uh, we can probably find a pretty dope spot to settle down at. All right, we got a bunch of pig houses. This is looking good. All right, piggy houses straight up there. I kind of hope this just connects like right there. How long have I been playing DST? Oh, you're all good. You're not you're not offending me by asking that kind of question. Everybody do me a favor and say hello to Valfrey. I have been playing now for... This is like the, this is probably like the end of, this is like the end of the like second and a half week. I think that's a good way to put it. Is that a good way to put it, chat? This is probably like the end of the second and a half week. This is the first time tonight, realistically tonight, is the first time I've settled on a character. So since I was new two weeks ago, I like to challenge myself. So I was playing hardcore and I was randoming characters until I tried all the characters. I only didn't be, wasn't able to try two. I tried them offline on my own time. I had a lot of fun with them. Uh, actually, the one that I tried offline was this turd. And the other one I tried offline was Wendy. And I actually, they were the last two characters I tried and they were the two characters I was trying to pick between. I liked them both a lot. I thought they were both really fucking sweet. Um, so I picked uh, I picked him because a I love his teleport. I think his aesthetic I, aesthetically he's just really cool looking in my opinion. I think he looks cool as fuck. And I I don't know I'm weird in video games. If I don't think something looks nice in a video game that I'm playing as, I don't usually end up wanting to play as much. I don't know if that makes any sense or if anybody else is the same way, but like for example, if aesthetically the character I'm playing isn't pleasing, I I usually am just like oh, well I'm probably not gonna end up playing. <laughs> I'm real honest with myself about that shit now because has anybody ever like, have you ever done that to yourself? Well, you'll keep playing again and be like, I don't want to continue because I don't like the way my character looks. And you want to start over just based on the way your fucking character looks like. It's really easy to be there, I think. Also, should I just eat this fucking butter so many times? Yeah. That's why I like playing Dark Souls so much. <laughs> because every time we played it, I could play a new playthrough and I could do a whole new build. I love that shit about those kind of games. Like, I love any game. I love any game that allows me replayability because of aesthetics. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. What's your favorite aesthetically pleasing video game? Mine's Dark Souls. Like, the Dark Souls series, 100%. I also want you to know, whenever I'm able to get a hold of a PS5, I still plan on streaming Demon Souls, by the way. Dude, Genshin Impact is fucking sick, bro, Dama. I, uh, I actually, like, almost downloaded it on my tablet the other day again. Yeah, if you gotta stare at something that long, you want it to be appealing to your eyeballs, right? I think a lot of people don't understand that. Dude, that's what I loved about Monster Hunter, too. I haven't played in a couple of weeks because I've been fucking stuck on this game. Yo, all the Final Fantasies, the Legend of Zeldas, they all look so good, too. Mmm. Man. 
There's so many deliciously tasty ass games out there. Oh, butter, eat it. I hate the butter. Can't stop me. I think Chrono Trigger and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. No, I mean, I think that's completely fine to think that that's like your aesthetic because there's nothing wrong with liking any aesthetic. You like what you like. I love Metroidvania style stuff like that. I love anything that has that retro vibe because I also like once I grew up in that shit too, you know? I've never actually played through any Castlevania ever. I don't know if Chad ever knew that. Did you know that? Never once played through a Castlevania. I feel like we should go here because we have a walrus thing here, a beehive here, and we have this here, and we got a little four corners action here. I'm just trying to see where potential rock, what I'm worried about is, well, no rocks technically right down here. The pig king is probably somewhere in here. I uh, let's see, got a lot of room. The forest with all the fucking spiders is way up there. Um, we're way down here. I think I'm gonna keep going this way because I want to see if it wraps down. This area seems pretty good, honestly. Like this just area right here. Like this little thing right here, because you got you got rocks, you got grass, you got ass, you got lots of good trees, you got raccoons. There's still a lot. Yeah, actually, I guess we have spiders over here too, which is nice because we can just scoot down this way. We got a graveyard here. I thought some maps don't get pig king. I got no fucking clue. I'd be really sad if it didn't, but then again, my RNG's been really good, so. You know what's interesting is talking to like all of that stuff. You know what I still really wish I had the time to get into is like, I'm just gonna put this in your head, the game Fantasy Star Online. Not all maps get the pig. Well, here's to hoping that we did. Don't chase me, little bird. It will be the end of you. You have the worst life. I get lots of fucking meteor rain. I, I, NF Chris, there's a reason I was putting something in your head because there's a possibility we might be playing it. <laughs> Ain't that good news? Holy shit. And the four corners is right by the fucking portal, so I can potentially build the portal into my build? I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to build the fucking portal into my build. Here's the thing is, like, I'm in a position right now where I just want to... I think this is where I'm going to set up something, because we still have a lot to explore, right? But I think this is going to be a good spot to set up something. I want to go through here, but I think I need to... Um, you got little bees down there. We got rocks over there, obviously, and lots of ice. More bees down here. Just trying to think I'm a little crazy right now. Thanks for stopping in this evening. Day, whatever it is. Speaking of which, anybody got anything coming up, like this weekend? I start getting my teeth worked on in two weeks, chat, and I don't really, I'm starting to get to that point where I'm like, oh no. <laughs> like I'm excited, but I'm not excited. Like, who in here loves the dentist? I don't see very many people speaking up right now. I don't see very many of you talking loudly about the situation I'm speaking of right now. Is there any reason behind that? Can I ask all of you sincerely in here, why do you not like the dentist? I'm actually genuinely curious. It's not, I'm not talking shit to you. I fucking promise you. I don't blame you if you do or do not like the dentist. I'm actually just curious in what regard and why you may not you know what i mean one of those situations i would get how much what's like the average check of a dentist what's like an average income of a dentist i actually just don't know i'm actually now i'm like truly curious something painful or uncomfortable to your mouth you know it's weird like i don't know maybe being someone is there anybody in here that that's not even a thought process with you when you go to the dentist because you're happy just to have them take care of you like that's kind of where i sit with it i don't know if that makes any sense or not like the pain at the end of the day is just it's it's fine like it's not that big of a deal to me it's it's the uncomfortable part is the part i think i'm gonna go ahead and say that i'll hate more i am incredibly busy right now could you please fuck off that's it sick the gnome on him that's right get him gnome Get him, gnome! Get him, gnome! I don't know. I've... I think when I was younger, I just didn't like dentists because I was just being a baby about it. The only problem I have with dentists is expenses. It's expensive. Like, I hate that I know I'm about to watch my bank account go... <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, I just... I, that's good. Is what it is. How many of you in here really hate that moment? When you're like, you know you got to do something with money, and you're just like... And you're just like, no. 
Oh, ass. So, yeah, you got to deal with, like, fucking, like, stupid, annoying-ass pain after that shit. That sucks. Hold on. Hold on. I got to reread something in chat. I had to have a tooth removed when I was a teenager. Dentist poked my gums with a needle to numb them. Didn't hit the gums with one of the pokes, and I wound up swallowing the Novocaine. Proceeded to throw up in the office, and the dentist told me it was not his doing, but rather my nerves and anxiety. Do you ever think the dentist might have been right? I'm just trying to figure out how a dentist misses your gum and you swallow enough, like you... I'm trying to figure out how you swallow enough Novocaine to, to, to make... That it makes you puke. That's the only thing I'm trying to figure out in the circumstance. Because they don't use that much Novocaine when they, like... When they Novocaine your gums, that shit's like... It's like... It's like, it's not a lot. So, like, thinking that you swallowed enough to make you puke I'd probably say the dentist is probably right to be honest with you it's probably just nerves like that I don't think anybody it doesn't matter what age you are really enjoys the dentist all that much I think the majority of it's because of pain and discomfort and well once again fucking cost cost is the fucking stupidest thing and if you're living in America I don't know how many people hey you know what's interesting you know what we never talked about chat real quick I'm gonna pause and ask a sincere question if you don't live in America will you do me a favor and come out and tell me how dentistry and dental works in your country if you have it I'm actually just curious in general because in America you just get robbed because in America, like all dentistry stuff, which is completely understandable if it's like a fixation on how your teeth look, but if it's like a health thing, you know, like a tooth going bad, cavities, uh, it's not covered at all through anything. So you have to get a completely different insurance because insurance is scams, right? So I, I'm just curious, like in other countries, I wonder, I don't know, I wonder how that goes. I think what it is is I have never lived in another country, so I don't know how you experience it, you know? I don't I don't know. My curiosity is a legitimate curiosity. I think, and this is just food for thought uh, for some of you, just as a note, uh, something to think about when you go to a dentist. Don't forget that there's probably a good chance like the dentist probably isn't giving you more Novocaine than they gave the last person. <laughs> They're probably giving you the same amount. You're probably just more sensitive to it. Or there might be circumstances where he goes, do you still feel this? And you're like, yeah. And he's like, all right, I got to give you more Novocaine. You know what I mean? Like, that's every time I remember, like, being a young adult and doing that, they would ask me if I needed more. More than they would be like, can you feel this still? I'd be like, yeah, I can still feel that. They'd be like, all right. And they'd give me more. I uh, include the rest of free healthcare surgery. Damn. That's kind of sick, actually. So we actually may end up dying right here. Unless I decide I really want to eat those soul. I guess I can. I guess I can just go eat more butterflies. I just didn't really want to... Uh, I just didn't really want to fuck with my sanity. And I didn't really want to eat those eggs, but... Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I I'd rather have half my face numb, too, than fill in that fucking, that drill when they do fucking, uh, when they do that shit. Like, oh my God, fuck that. I mean, it it's it's just tough because as someone that's 35 now, like, I don't think I'm too far gone to really give that much of a shit about them being, like, super straight. But the fact that I'm able to is going to be fucking dope. But it's just still a little weird for me, to be honest with all of you. Oh, yay, this one's alive. I, in general, like I said, I was just, I was just asking. 50 to $100 to get one tooth filled, that's still way better than mine. With insurance, it's a $90 per cavity. 90 USD as a note. Okay. Okay. Fuck you, spider bitch. Somebody write it down. Death number one.